Well, it's uh, quite the rainy day here in uh, Illinois, so uh, I should record this, but I got the uh, BT-212 uh, at my grandma's house, which is, get this, literally that house right there, that's my grandma's house, because they've got a workbench, but I'm um, just going to let till this rain dies down a little bit, it's not like lightning rain or anything like that, um, Anyways, we gotta take this box of parts right here with the headlight, flywheel, shroud, and all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna put those on the 212. It's not a billet flywheel or any billet parts, just uh just a special flywheel to work with my headlight. Cause uh each BT 200 x uh, has a headlight and they've got charging coils in them. And the uh the flywheel. The uh the flywheel has got like magnetic points or something so that when it becomes flush the uh, charging coils can uh, uh, can work with the headlight. Anyways that's what every BT200X comes with and when you engine swap it uh, it's just like a USB connection from the engine so we're gonna take those parts down to my grandparents house and uh, yeah see you there. As you can already see, we got the mini bike out here. A fun fact, actually, these square tubing right here, I was actually going to ask my grandfather if I could use these, because I'm in my grandparents' garage now. I would ask him if I could use this, um, this tubing right here, so that I could, instead of having to pay $20 for just some small piece of tubing for a torque converter, I was going to use it on that, but it was actually turned out to be way too big. And plus, um... It's a torque converter that I did order originally from Amazon. Uh, it was the wrong chain. I did have a 4 420 sprocket, so I put that on. And believe it or not, I actually sent it back to Amazon with that on, so they got an extra sprocket for whatever, I guess. But um, this is actually my friend's. He's got my jack shift kind of thing going on, or whatever it's called. I think it's a jack shift assembly with a uh, centrifugal clutch. He cut or he drilled holes there so he could make it fit. As you can see, if you saw my video, there's a little. T not a lot of room there. And we got our Comet Pulley right there, the front of a Comet Pulley. But uh, this bag of parts, uh, we got our headlight, our charging coils are in there, and we have things like this flywheel shroud. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Hey, it's me. <laughs> this is my grandpa's uh, workbench. Uh, to get that flywheel off of my 212 though, they do say use a rubber mallet. This one, uh, it looks to be a rubber mallet. I actually got a, a hammer basically like a mini version of this hammer. I'm not too good at what hammers are called, besides that's called a mallet, obviously. And we did get a big flathead. It's not this one, but that's a big-ass Phillips head. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we're just here to get some, uh, some bolts, because I really don't want to run to the hardware store. So, uh, this, we'll just have to look through here for some bolts. Ow, scrape myself. Some to, you know, work with the, uh, putting the headlight on. Some, uh, washers. I'm gonna see. Yep, these are washers. 
probably some locking washers and some bolts. So, this might work. No, I don't think it'll work. I can get it back in there. So, yeah, we'll have to just take these boat over there so we can, uh, and uh, obviously look for some bolts for that headlight. So, try and make it work. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back there. So, we got our big crescent toolbox here. And then we have a smaller toolbox there because uh, this one, uh, the sockets on these are like metric or something like that. They're not in the, they're like, ha it, it, people know what I'm talking about. They're in weird sizes. So I like to use the sockets from this one. But this one doesn't have a ratchet and this one does. This one has four, or this one has three ratchets actually. This is such a toolbox, big toolbox. So we got washers. Bolts, or this is actually nuts. I just took these bolts right there, and then bolts. So, we're gonna be able to make it work. We got our screwdriver and our hammer for getting our flywheel off so uh, that we don't, uh, we can just put that right there because we don't really need that. I did use that last time though to get oil into my engine for when I was working on then that stage one kit and I feel so stupid because I never recorded that my friend was coming over but he was at my other friend's house where we got that engine from so yeah that's how we'll be going hey look it's me again hey <laughs> but yeah let's go ahead and uh start unbolting this engine on size 13 so we should be able to fit oh so I was right lefty loosey righty tighty There we go. This bolt. It's the front cover of the door converter if it'll slide off. There's the uh, front pulley. As well as in the back is the uh, still the Chinese kind of that sleeve on the out. So, yeah. get our belt or a uh, little brass bushing and uh, get this guy off without damaging the belt here it is anything else uh, from the looks of it no All right, next, those engine mounts.
like this. All right, now we can take the engine off. The throttle cable out of the way. Our engine will just come right off. Uh, now from the looks of it, I can just grab it from the valve cover. Oh. And we got the engine on top of the workbench. But hold on, hold on. We're gonna work on this. But my mom just called. She's got some chicken nuggets from McDonald's, so I'll see you then. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, we're back. Time to uh, get that flywheel off and, uh, yeah, drink some uh, McDonald's Dr. Pepper. And I hope they mix the uh, soda machine right, so let's do this. <laughs> All right, um, now that's off, we've ate, in, ate lunch. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, turn it around, or, yeah, let's go ahead and do some stuff to it. Oh, yeah, and so those who are wondering how my engine works without a governor, uh, pretty much I removed the governor, like usual, and I've got this spring right here holding back the governor arm, because if you don't, uh, this is your car at idle. It'll actually rest around like that. Now, um, this right here, that is full throttle, and it'll rest around here, but if you get a spring to hold it back, it'll be idling right there. The idle screw is in a little bit, so the governor, or the throttle arm, will work just like uh, just as usual. However, there is this kind of free space right here where it gets to move. When you do this, uh, you should loosen up your throttle arm a little bit, but after all of it happens, uh, tighten it down and then reconnect it, whichever way you like, through here, or through there. But make sure to either put a spring holding back the governor arm, either here, or you can put it on that bolt in the back right there, whichever works best for you. But yeah, disassemble. We'll go ahead and start by uh, taking our little spring off. Uh, resting right here should be good for now, so. Get started on this. Okay, so we just uh, finished up getting this. We had to open that weird zip tie thing so that we could loosen this up, but here is our flywheel. Uh, spins nice, all that kind of stuff. All we need to do is just get that nut off. We got our little spring here that's in the way, so I'll go ahead and get that off so we can do, uh, we can start getting that flywheel off, put those coils in, so yeah. Okay, I didn't record it, but with the help of my dad and my grandpa, we were able to get this shroud off and this uh, right here. Uh, I'm not sure what these are actually called, the shroud or something? I don't know, but I do know that the pulsar right there, the metal pieces come out and they uh, they grab onto this. But this is the one off the old 196. Here's the flywheel from the 196 that will just snap onto this. Um, and we took a screwdriver and we bent it, so it really won't work with this one unlike this where it's completely straight and since the crankshaft is steel we took vice grips uh, gripped it under the uh, output shaft there so we saved this and uh yeah now we're gonna get that flywheel off It definitely took a lot of force, but we got it out. This is the flywheel we're going to be putting on, and from the looks of it, it should just be a pretty much bolt-on. Yeah, that's pretty much a bolt-on. This is the one that we had on. We'll just take that off, sit to the side, stick into the headlight. We just got to put these uh, charging coils on. So, yeah, let's get that done. <laughs> Okay. 
Uh, there was a little protective plate, though, that came with it. Oh, yeah, it was this thing. I think it was, like, right here. I don't know how that was on there, so I'll have to check the pick thing if I have to. Alright, we got that little protective cover there for our charging coils. Man, they look nice on this engine. They look really nice on this engine, so... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can sneak away to fit this wire through there so that we can uh, get it through there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start that now. What we're going to do now is uh, clean this with a glove. <laughs> really, I'm not. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I cut myself. Um, I guess we'll just do this anyway. So this is the 196 flywheel that comes with the Hissen 196 motors. Since they're both 6.5 and since this looks like it'll just snap right on, uh, we should pretty much be good. Um, I just need to go get that rubber mallet. And I got the pinpoint hammer or the point hammer. I don't know what it's called. Maybe I should get a brush or something. Uh, it's not the best at cleaning, but we'll just... Uh... Those to me look like it fits. Looks like it fits perfectly. Let's put the cam chef instead, so... Now I gotta go back to Grandpa's workshop. That light is a sensor, so... Alright, back to finishing work. Thank you, sir. But yeah, this is pretty much the finished product. Uh, we're gonna, uh, we did kind of scrape up that key right there, but it should be good. Um, we are getting some little nose over there for the uh, spring that I took off because it was in the way. So, yeah. too so that's good so that's a wrap up um turned out good the coils are working good uh, the flywheel's on the engine pretty tight i just gotta do a few more things um i may have messed up my keyway on my crankshaft but with a mallet rubber mallet should just get on there through but yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later yeah. i don't know it does this anymore <laughs> i don't know what to do <laughs> but yeah see you guys Oh, I got it mixed up. My bad. <laughs> There's bloopers for sure. So I just picked up this. Oh, shit. Finished product. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the governor's spring.